Where is, where, let, let us make consistent. We're dealing with issues that are very important. We're dealing with the future of our children. It is important. We have borrowed so much in the past. What did we use it for? It's very easy to audit what it was used for. And then this one we're going to use, borrow, can we show in a prickly, verifiable, this is what we're going to use it for? And who are those who are technically savvy that are borrowing this money and are applying it judiciously? We, we may have been in government where people just come from, no, come from nowhere, tell you, you must borrow for this, borrow for that. Why are we going to borrow money? We don't need to borrow money. We have areas we can cut, and we don't need to borrow. And I say to anybody, I was in government for eight years. We never asked anybody for a loan for one day. Not because we had, but because we could look. Whenever there's need to borrow, we first look inward and said, if we cut this and cut this and cut this and cut this, we don't need to borrow this money. And I believe there's areas where you can still do that and areas where investing. Is it that we are borrowing money and throwing in education so we can see that schools have improved and changed and everything? Is it that we are borrowing money and put it in health so that our hospitals and everything and all that have improved? Is it that we are borrowing money and putting it on the so-called infrastructure, where are the bridges, where are the roads, where are these that are completed that we can say we borrowed this? Ruben, let me give you an example. We're talking. We've just borrowed, we've just done from 10 trillion to 25 trillion. So added 15, nationally, whether you like it or not. That's Ibado, Lagos Ibado Express Road, which they've been building since, God knows, since I was in university. <laughs> All they need is 200 billion. Okay, so let me ask. So you from this borrow, so. just 200 billion thrown into that thing. Since then, it would have completed it. Would you then say that, for example, if we're looking at ways to cut down on certain budgets that shouldn't exist, would you comment or would you like to comment on the 100 million dollars that's been budgeted for the uh, renovation of the National Assembly in oh, the 20? 37 billion. 37 billion naira is $100 million. $100 million budgeted for the renovation of the National Assembly. Well, let me, let me tell you, there's so many places to cut. It's not just that. I tell you, I've sat, so I have an idea, that there's so, the West is unacceptable. The cost of governance in Nigeria cannot be compared to anywhere. I've talked about governors, I've talked about presidents, I've talked about local government chairmen and everything. I've said it in this study that it is unacceptable. The, the biggest, it, it will probably cost more to keep me as a governor mm. than it will cost to keep us as prime minister of Britain. I can tell you That's because bad. no, no, because if anybody in the UK sees Boris Johnson moving with five vehicles, he <laughs> won't be in office the next day. I can Someone tell you. Walk down the road with his dog. No, no, no. <laughs> I said he will not be in the office the next day yeah. with that level of convoy. Talk less of this thing. If you eat in White House, you pay. Or in Ten Downing Street, if you invite somebody, a guest, you pay. to come for dinner. At the end of the month, they'll give you the bill. Mm. Anyway. In my, in my, in Anambra said, I can bring my entire village. It'll be it. Nobody cares. Yes, it's their share of the national cake. But, I mean, all morning you've been referring to education. You know, um, although I was going to draw the attention, your attention to the fact that in the budget proposal for 2020, education is actually number three on the list. After defense and then uh, power works and housing, and then you have education. But I know you are very passionate about education, given your record in Anambra State. And only a week ago, uh, you met with the Pope uh, to work with uh, you know, a foundation uh, set up by the Vatican uh, not to promote education. No, not actually by the Vatican. OK, but what it, are the details? It, it, you it want is, to share that with it us? It is the Pope's personal foundation. Oh, it's the Pope himself. 
personal foundation, That's which is started... The Okurentis uh, Foundation? Scholars. Okurentis. This is what he started as... When he was cardinal and bishop of Buenos Aires in Argentina. From empirical studies, he found out that to develop and have peace, you need to invest in education and sports. Dupenda is not far fetched. It's only when we, we engage in sports here that we stay as a nation. So they found out that. And that's what, they, what they've used in South America to keep South America, whether it's Brazil, whether it's this and all that, you know, peaceful sports and they invest in education. Ruben, the reason why we're having multiplicity of problems we're having today is that we did not invest in education yesterday. That is why South Korea, China, everybody, that we are lagging behind Nigeria. But two costs, economically, and are doing better. Because they've invested in education. When a knowledge economy, it's a very simple thing. The more knowledge you can create in terms of revenue and everything, it's very simple. I said it wherever it is possible. It is no longer a baggage economy time when you're dependent on oil. Ruben, in 2018, we earned from oil $18 billion. That's what we earned in oil in 2018. This year, maybe we earned about 20. Facebook, that I just started a few days ago, Facebook, third quarter revenue, third quarter revenue, that's third quarter. So, which is not, listen, it's more than that. What they had in three months, revenue in three months. In December 2018, their revenue was $55 billion. So, the all Nigeria shared and got from oil is not up to a third of what Facebook made. But so, this, all this, those uh... things, you need to invest in education. No, it the, is critical. The, principle of it is clear. the return is huge. So the, what the Pope is doing is using this to advance this. And I've been invited by the management to see how they can use this again, support education, for help to raise money internally, support education here, yeah, support sports, you know. So they start pulling away young people from the direction they're going to. To where they should what, go. What's the nature of your connection with the foundation? Is it that they the, just the scholars, me, uh, they just the invited me. foundation, what they have done just invited set up me in to, Nigeria? Yes, they just invited me to see what they're doing, mm. study it, and see how they can work, how I can mobilize people here. Because they don't work, they're not going to bring anybody from outside. They need some Nigerians who will come together and see what they're doing and be able to do the same thing which will raise money and some other support they can give us to be able to do it. Is it a Christian, Catholic thing no, or it's an open no, thing No, 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 it's everybody. an open thing. Youth is youth. Now, let me tell you, at the end of the day, it's this place that, you see, we brought ourselves into so many problems in this country. Studying this Christian thing, studying this, we usually give. Ruben, we always give an example with Dubai. I don't use Dubai as my example because it's a small country with a low population. But let me tell you, Ruben, I'm a Catholic. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to the Catholic church and worship. The Catholic church in Dubai is built by the enemy of Dubai, who is the Muslim. Is there? It's written, and it comes there once a year. Or twice a year, when they do their Jarrah and Ruben, I went to the best school, the best Catholic school in Jabode. Mm. I was there. They, became, they, were the, they had the best result in Wayek. So I went to visit them. Which school is this? Kansi King College. I went to visit them. Shocking, their land was given to them by the Muslim man that was there. 
We've destroyed this country with all this uh, religion and all 